it's a takeover, which means my face is taking over Auntie Tay's awesome channel. Today I'm showing you how you can make this super cool wooden hanging rope shelf from the Dollar Tree because I'm always keeping it cheap and keeping it easy with my DIYs. If you don't know me, I am Drea with Clueless Mama D. I help moms live a thrifty lifestyle while laughing their way through motherhood. I do DIYs, decor, and thrifting over on my channel, but today we're on Auntie Tay's channel. So I'm gonna show you how to make this, but better yet, I'm officially obsessed with the color that I chose to paint it. This is actually Auntie Tay's Seafoam chalk paint. Seafoam, it's like a greenish. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm obsessed. If you have not checked shopantitay.com, you're missing out on her awesome craft supplies that I'm obsessed with. Did I say obsessed too many times? I don't know. But you can check out the description for discounts on that. Members always get 20% off and lots of goodies. But guys, tell me, does this not look pretty? It looks so pretty. So before we jump into this easy DIY, I just wanna invite you to subscribe to Auntie Tay's channel if you have not already, because she is the bomb.com and she has so much exciting stuff going on. So make sure you check out what she already has up and is coming. And if you like me, you're feeling a connection or you just want more thrifty lifestyle DIY kind of stuff, make sure after this video, you pop into the description and hit my link to my channel and hit subscribe there so we don't lose touch. Let's do it. So if you've seen my Dollar Tree hauls on my channel, I snatched up these wooden signs. They are so thick and sturdy for the Dollar Tree. Grab them when you see them. And you'll need four of these with some wood glue and then two of Dollar Tree's ropes. Now these are nine feet long and that's it guys. So I think this is what, $6? So comment below if the struggle is so real to get the sticky stuff off the back of anything. I wanted this to be the top of the shelf. So I got out my blow dryer thanks to my hubby's tip and heated that up because I had no glue gone or anything. Don't do this at home children. Do not get a sharp knife and bring it towards you like this. But that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> it actually works really good. But then there was still all this sticky stuff and I gave it a little bit of sanding and then you guys know me, I'm just lazy. So I was like, you know what? This is officially the bottom of the shelf now. And I got my wood glue and just stuck these bad boys together. You just wanna make sure you're evenly spreading out that glue. And it's really easy guys. If you have clamps, that obviously helps to keep this together. Otherwise, you have to be really creative, you know, put it against a wall in a corner and maybe tape it with some painter's tape to hold it together for however long the back of your wood glue says. I do have a husband who is in the restoration industry, so he had some pretty cool clamps, but he only had two of them. So I put them in the middle, which isn't completely ideal. It would be nice to have one on each side, but you gotta go with what you got. Go with the flow. You wanna make sure you wipe off any excess glue that is coming out from the top or the bottom so that you're gonna be able to paint that nice once these bad boys are stuck together. Watch out, Clueless Mama D is drilling holes. <laughs> I had never actually drilled a hole before, so you guys are witnessing a moment in history here. You can see I practiced it. I practiced already on the table there. That's why there's holes there. It's just a junk table we have outside in the back. But I did pretty good, and I didn't measure. I just kind of hoped for the best that I was drilling in line, and you know what? It turned out all right. If you want to do as I say and not like I do, you can get a ruler and make sure you are actually making them in a straight line. Or you can be like me and just kind of go with the flow. So you just want to take a damp cloth and wipe that bad boy clean. 
and yeah this is totally wood from the Dollar Tree like such a good little steal if you want to do something cheap and affordable that looks cute now I'm just going in and because like I said I was lazy and this is now the top I'm just throwing in some white chalk paint to kind of even out the lettering on top so that that doesn't shine through I hadn't used anti taste seafoam color yet so I didn't know how it was gonna go on and how thick it was gonna be but honestly I don't think I needed to do this step because that color was so rich we also hit Did up fireworks? the fireworks while Look it dried because it was Canada Day my country's Say, wow. birthday. Wow, this is the awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. This is awesome. There's my baby yeah. boy looking Isn't at the fireworks. Awesome? Yeah. All right, guys, I was so excited. The color looked exactly like it did on the website, which I was really excited about. Look at it. Like, I'm officially obsessed with this color. We are moving, so I'm actually making this tray for my new sort of film setup. You guys are going to see it in the background if you subscribe to my channel. Um, so, I think this color, this seafoam from Antite, shopantite.com, I think this is the inspiration for my new sort of film studio area. Comment below if you love it. Cause I love it and I went a little bit excess there with all the drippage, but that's okay. So now that these bad boys were dry, I did do them on both sides. I grabbed my rope and you want to make sure you drilled the holes big enough for whatever rope you bought because Dollar Tree has two different sizes. You're going to need some tape, a measuring tape and your rope. And you want to just go on the wall or wherever you're going to hang it and just make sure you do measure out where you want those shelves to be. So sorry about the lighting here, it gets better, but I've never filmed on my floor before. So you want to grab the ends and make them even and then you're going to go to the little middle, I guess the middle of the rope. So I did that with both of them. And then I just got my measuring tape out and made sure to find however long we wanted the shelves to be. I hope you guys are following me. I'm sorry that this is just like, you know, the way I'm saying it, but it is what it is. <laughs> and you stick the tape with the flat side right where you decided you want your shelf to start. So the shelf would be right on top of your measurement, if that makes any sense. So I just repeated the process for the other rope, which will be on the other side of the shelf. And I double checked that they're lining up fairly good. Again, that straight edge of the tape is what you're looking at to make sure it lines up. And then you want to measure the next distance that you had in mind for your second shelf to start. And repeat the process. So that's kind of what it looks like and you can start to put your rope into the shelf. So it's actually really easy to do this, providing you know how to tie a knot, because I'm not gonna lie, your girl struggled a bit. <laughs> not because I didn't know how to tie a knot, but because you do wanna make sure where you put your tape ends up at the bottom of the knot, and I'll show you guys that in a second. So yeah, just focusing on where a certain section needed to be in the knot was a little bit of a challenge for me, but I got it together as you can see. Beautiful, there it is. And you wanna repeat that obviously four times on both sides. And then once you do that, you're gonna weave it through just like I'm doing there. And you wanna tie a knot again below the second shelf. Again, making sure that where you put the tape ends up right below the knot. And that's it guys. That is your $6 wooden Dollar Tree DIY hanging rope shelf. I don't know, I shouldn't have had that Reese's Pieces chocolate I just ate, sorry guys. <laughs> but there it is, I hope you like it. Make sure to subscribe to Auntie Tay's channel and there's a link to my video showing how I did this DIY decor from the Dollar Tree for a few bucks. And you can subscribe to my channel there if you hit that link 
if you want to chill with me another time. Thank you, Tay, for having me again. And I can't wait till the next takeover. Love you, lovelies. Mwah.